Hello everyone, this is Javier. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to see the top places in Vientiane or Vientiane. If you saw our video on Visit Lao Year 2024, you were introduced to some of these. But today we're going to be feet on the ground and see these physically. All right. So join us today as we go visit what we would recommend as the top places to see in Vientiane if you only have one day in the city. All these sites are probably within about a five kilometer radius of the city center. So they make for a pretty easy first day in the city. First on the list is Batishai, which is located in the city center. Batishai translates literally to Victory Gate or Gate of Triumph. <clears throat> this is the war monument in the city center that was built between 1957 and 1968. Batishai was dedicated to those who fought in the struggle for independence from France. It has some resemblance to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, but it has some distinctly Lao design elements, which include the mythological creatures on the ceiling, the half-female, half-bird, as well as some of the spires and other architectural elements. Admission price to go inside and up to the top is 30,000 Lao kip for tourists and 5,000 kip for local Lao, and the admission hours are from 8.30 to 5 p.m. Next one on the list is Patat Luang, or the Great Stupa. This is located in the city center of Vientiane, and it is generally regarded as the most important national monument in Lao, as well as a national symbol. Similar to most other monuments, the admission price for this is 30,000 kip for tourists and 5,000 for local Lao citizens. And this is open Monday through Sunday from 8 to 5 p.m. The architecture of the building includes many references to Lao culture and identity. You can see this in the various paintings and also Lao and Khmer sculptures. And so it has become a symbol of Lao nationalism. Every year in November, there is a Barig's festival, Tat Luang festival, or Boon Tat Luang. So people from all over the country and even outside of Lao come to attend and take part. Just adjacent to Tat Luang Stupa is Wat Tat Luang, or Tat Luang Temple. This has a few points of interest, one of which is the large Bodai tree on the grounds of the temple. This Bodai tree is believed to be a descendant of the tree under which Buddha achieved enlightenment in India. The Bodai tree is surrounded by a circle of smaller golden statues, each of which depicts Buddha in different poses. Another important point of interest are the large golden statues in the gardens around the temple, the most famous of which is the large golden reclining Buddha. A walk in the gardens is a peaceful respite and a nice break from the crowds at Tat Luang Stupa. <music> Next on our list of places to visit is Wat Si Saket. Wat Si Saket is one of the oldest temples in Vientiane. 
It was built in a contemporary style of Buddhist architecture at the time and was one of the only temples that was left intact after an invasion of foreign forces in the early 1800s. Wat Si Saket features a cloister wall with more than 2,000 ceramic and silver Buddha images. Each year in mid-April, the Buddha statues are brought out to be cleansed as an important part of the Lao New Year ceremony. At Wat Si Saket, they use a wooden trough called a Hong Hot, which is ornately carved to represent a Naga. Perfumed water flows through this and onto the heads of the Buddha images and the monks taking part in their ceremony. On exiting the temple, your attention may be drawn to some writing etched into a stone slab hanging on the wall. The stone is smooth, flawless, and brown in color, and the writing that's been engraved by hand tells the story of the temple's construction, configuration, and inauguration. It's amazing artistry, and you can see it on both sides of the entryway leading into the temple. Just right across the street from Wat Si Saket is Hope Gale in Vientiane, and this is a former temple that was built in 1565 to house the Emerald Buddha, and has now since been converted into a museum that holds religious artifacts and art exhibits. The history about Hopakeo was very interesting. So this was built to house the Emerald Buddha in 1565. The Emerald Buddha had been relocated from Chiang Mai to Wang Prabang and then made its way down to Vientiane at uh, Hopakeo, where it stayed there for about 200 years and then it was relocated again back to Thailand. Now the grounds of Hopakeo are carefully manicured and detailed to show various parts of Lao culture and history. For example, in front of us are various wooden sculptures that have been carved to depict Lao and Khmer history in the southern part of Lao, so around Champasak. You can see some of the Khmer influence and what looks like uh, remnants of Wat Bu. And then just adjacent to these sculptures is an area that's meant to resemble the plain of jars. So this display pays homage to the giant jars that are a bit of a mystery. Some people believe they were used for burial purposes or to house water. This, but they lie across the plains of Shen Quan and you can go see them to this day. Next on our list of top places in Vientiane is Wat Ong Du. This is also known as the Temple of the Heavy or the Bronze Buddha. It's one of the many Buddhist monasteries in the city of Vientiane in Lao. The name is given to the temple due to the large bronze Buddha image that is housed inside the temple, and it is the largest Buddha in Vientiane. The temple was initially constructed in the 16th century in the 17th century, it was transformed into a Buddhist learning center to teach, enlighten, and inspire worshippers. And the architecture of this temple is more in the style of Luang Prabang style temples.
The Lao Buddhist Institute was created in 1929 and still functions today as a school for the Theravada Buddhist religion. Last on our list is Tat Dam, or the Black Stupa, as it literally translates to. Not a lot is known about this landmark, although it is believed to be about 500 years old. It stands in the center of a roundabout near Dalat Sa Morning Market, and generally stupas are built to enshrine Buddhist relics or ashes of monks, nuns, or kings, but in this case it's a mystery as to what is buried inside. Local legends talk about how once the tower was covered in gilded and gold, other legends talk about how there is a giant naga that lies dormant underneath. Whatever the case, this is a landmark that's well respected and endeared by the locals. So that completes our list of top places to see of year in Vientiane for a day. Our next video will be a trip out to Buda Park, which deserves its own video. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.